I remember when I got inside this Uber that was supposed to be an hour-long ride. I remember she looks over at me sitting in the back and she goes, So, uh, your name's Bubba? Uh, yeah, hi. So, why are you driving an hour? And when I told her the story, let's just say she ended up saying, Well, I mean, I can quickly park if you want to, you know, have some fun. And that's when I realized this Uber driver was sus. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane but super embarrassing story. So this story takes place back two years ago. Now, two years ago, I was just a basic dude making stories online and just kind of doing my own thing. And I remember one time, two years ago, I was filming a video for, you know, just to post on the channel. And as I was in the middle of telling a crazy story that happened to me, out of nowhere, I ended up getting a phone call. I ended up seeing it was one of the girls from back when I was in high school that, honestly, I haven't spoken to in a long time. I wasn't sure why this girl was calling me, but honestly, I I decided to basically pick up and say, hey, like, what's going on? OMG, Bubba, is this still your number? Uh, yeah, what's up? Oh, well, honestly, like, it's been so long and I was wondering, do you want to, like, maybe, like, hang out sometime? Are you asking me out? Uh, well, kind of, not really. I mean, honestly, like, I was just, like, you know, wanting to see if we could, like, reconnect. I'm calling some people to see, like, you know, how's life going with others and stuff. I realized when she was stuttering and being super awkward, I ended up telling her, uh, I mean, sure, do you want me to pick you up? Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Here, I'll tell you my address. She ended up telling me her address and I remember later on that day, we decided to meet up. And right as this girl hung up the phone, I ended up calling another one of my homies. Now, the reason I called my friend was because honestly, he was like the only person I still spoke to after high school. And, you know, ever since I ended up, you know, growing on the internet. And when I called him, I said, yo, bro, remember that girl from high school? Uh, yeah, wait, what about her? Well, apparently she like just called me and she wants to like go out. Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah, like I don't really know why. At that moment, I ended up like basically discussing details with him about how I used to like this girl back in high school, but then nothing ever happened. So I decided to give up on it. And as we're talking about it, I remember he said, well, well, you gotta understand back then she didn't go for you and things didn't happen. Why would it all of a sudden happen now? In my opinion, cancel the date, bro. You might get into a sticky situation. And honestly, that was advice I wish I took, but I didn't. If you guys don't know, one of the reasons why I have a lot of crazy stories is because I go through life saying yes. So right as I hung up the phone to my homie, I ended up finishing my video that I had to do and I ended up getting ready to go see this girl. I remember as I was driving on the way to her place, I got super nervous because I I ended up driving into the town that I grew up in. And once I finally got to her place, I remember I ended up picking her up. Me and her, we ended up going on this like coffee date to the city. And right as I parked my car, we ended up going to a cafe. When we walked inside the cafe, I remember she was telling me all about her life and stuff and how, you know, how it's crazy things change throughout high school till now, which I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. If you guys are in high school right now, or even in middle school, when you guys reach graduation, nothing's the same. Everything you did in high school or was known for in high school won't matter. As sad as that is going on with the story, I remember she ended ended up telling me, oh, and like, honestly, like I heard about all the stuff you're doing online. It's honestly insane. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. It's, it's fun, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, like I wish my boyfriend could do something like that. I remember I looked at her and I'm like, wait, what? Your boyfriend? And that's when I was so confused. I was kind of like really annoyed as well, because like who goes on like a one-on-one -on -one date with a guy and then that has a boyfriend? Like what? So I ended up telling her, uh, I didn't know you had a boyfriend. Oh yeah, I do. Don't you remember him from high school? And when she told me his name, no, no joke, I was fuming. And the reason I was so mad was because the guy she ended up saying was one of the guys that used to pick on me back in high school saying that I was gonna be nothing with my future. I ended up getting really upset and I looked at her and said, wait, so if you have a boyfriend, why'd you ask me out here? Oh, well, to be honest, like I heard about like all the social media online stuff you're doing and I was wondering if you could help me out promote some stuff. At that moment, I got so annoyed and I got up and I said, listen, like I really don't have time for this and I thought you were cool or something, but I'll be honest, you're just a jerk. At that moment, I remember my friend's advice and honestly, at that moment, I wish I took it. But things were just about to go insane because as me and her were exiting the cafe She ended up like trying to make it up to me and kept apologizing and everything But right as we finally got up to my car, I realized that my car wasn't there Apparently I got towed so I thought this day couldn't get any worse But my vehicle got towed since apparently the parking meter ran out of minutes and I was doomed I ended up getting stuck in the middle of the city with a chick that literally has a boyfriend. I thought things couldn't get worse, but honestly, they did because I remember me and her just ended up looking at each other and she said, oh, okay, well, you know what? Uh, maybe it'd be smart if you called an Uber. You want me to call an Uber? Yeah, like, don't you have the app? At this moment, I did not have the app. I never used it because I had a damn car, so there was no point in me getting an Uber app, but I ended up downloading that day. And by the way, this is not sponsored, so Uber, if you're watching this, pay me, but going on, right as I downloaded the app, I ended up booking my Uber for my place, but then this girl looks over over at my phone and she saw I was doing that and said, wait, Bubba, are you not going to drop me off home? At that moment, I felt bad and I honestly was going to say no, but I felt bad again. So I ended up saying, 
Uh, yeah, sure. Here, type down your address. She ended up putting down her address and we waited like five minutes for an Uber to show up. And when we finally got the Uber, I remember me and her, we got inside the car and we started heading first to her place. I don't know why she put her place first in the address, but I guess she just did not want to see me after what happened. But I remember during the Uber ride, I kept looking at the driver and the driver kept looking at me in her rear view mirror. And she kept staring me down, looking at me very awkwardly until finally she spoke and said, oh, so like, are you guys like together? I remember me and her looked at each other and we're like, no, no, no. Like, you know, we're just friends from high school. Oh, okay. Um, not to make weird anything. Wasn't sure. And she kept driving. When we finally got to her place, she ended up leaving the car without even saying goodbye to me and ended up slamming the door shut. At that moment, the Uber driver looks at me again and says, so, uh, your name's Bubba? Yeah. Uh, it's just my middle name is what I told her. And then that's when she said, oh, honestly, like there's a lot of tension in the car. Like what was going on between you guys? You guys like just break up or something. And that's when I ended up telling her basically everything that happened from me, you know, going up to meet her and, you know, picking her up, my car getting towed. Basically, I trauma dumped her. I'm not going to lie. And I remember she ended up looking at the map on her phone, going back to my place. And she saw it was an hour ride back since I literally went to a different town just to meet up with this girl. And she said to me, well, honestly, I could quickly park if you want some action. At that moment, I had really no idea what she was talking about until she ended up parking the car into an alleyway in the city. And she ended up getting out of the car, going to the back seat beside me. And well, yeah, apparently I did get some action. I ended up doing the devil's tango with my Uber driver, which by the way, this Uber driver was super sus for doing that, which is honestly insane. But I remember me and her were in the back seat, shaking the car for like a good, like, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes. And then finally, when things ended, she ended up getting out, going back to the front seat and started driving back to my place. Honestly, I felt really uncomfortable with her knowing my address since, you know, we just did the devil's tango. But honestly, she ended up actually making some pretty good conversation on the way there. And I think the weirdest part was, was that she was talking about her two kids very comfortably after we literally just did the devil's tango. Honestly, I'll never know and understand people nowadays, but I'll be honest, if you guys would do your Uber driver, then fall for embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.